What's up everybody, Brian Zach here, coming at you from my home studio. Today's video addresses earplugs, and I have a pair of earplugs here that I've been starting to use on a regular basis, um, especially on my jazz gig at uh, downtown at Skull's Rambo Room. Uh, you know, and you wouldn't think typically that on a jazz gig that it would get that loud and really in all things considered it doesn't get that loud but I will say that over the course of from the beginning of the gig to the end of the gig you know is about three and a half four hours ish where you're in the room it's a crowded bar restaurant and it's noisy it's loud even without any music playing, even with just the house music playing and with the audience noise, it can be loud. People laughing, screaming, yelling, having a good old time. And then add that, add the music to that, that, that we're playing. And certainly, you know, I'm sitting at the drum kit and it's loud and there's cymbals and snare and, you know, everything that you, you know, that, that it, basically is. And I find that sometimes when I get in my car to drive home and you, you know, you enter that quiet space, it can, it can be sort of deafening. <laughs> um, you know, once in a while I, I'll, I'll climb into bed after a gig and it'll be a little bit of ringing. So I want to be careful and we should all be careful because you know any damage that you're doing to your hearing is permanent so earplugs um, so I've been using these earplugs and they're called eargasm earplugs and I had heard about these um, from various places so I bought these I don't remember when, but it was over a year ago. Um, and experimented with them a couple of times for a little short while. And so what you get with these is um, two sizes. There's a standard size and then there's a small size. And so it comes outfitted with the standard size. So there's like a little filter that goes into the... Um, the plug, if you will, and you can change it. You can take the filter out and put the filter, take it out of the standard size and put it in the small size. So after trying it with the standard size, I, I decided ah, I'm going to try the small size and see, um, you know, if it made any difference, if it was any better or worse. Um, uh, so I, I, you know, like I said, I switched it out to the small and then I just kind of stopped using it. And I think, I think I stopped using it because I just didn't like the fit that much because they would, you know, you would put them in and you'd think that, um, you know, that they're going to stay and that you get them just right so that, you know, you're blocking out the right amount of sound level and um, but then like maybe you smile or you just move your mouth a little bit you know and that causes your jawbone and, and hence all the the inner ear to fluctuate and then it would pop out and then i'm back to you know noisy environment again so um you know fast forward to the present and for the past few weeks I've been using these again and just trying them out again with the small size well today I found <laughs> I was digging through a box in the garage and I found this box because really when you buy the the earplugs they come with this great little canister and I mean it comes with like a little keychain type thing and you just unscrew the the top here and voila the earplugs are inside so you see what they look like 
Okay, and so now this is the standard size. So today I experimented with taking the filter out of the small size and putting them back in the standard size. And I went and played the drums here at home with, with these in. And I found that I had to put the earplugs in a bit further than maybe I had originally tried and then they would stay at the standard size. So this is not a paid endorsement. This is not a paid advertisement. Um, I don't work for this company, but I did buy these on Amazon. I think they're pretty cheap. They were around between 30 and $40. Um, here's the thing. These are not your standard earplugs that, you know, you buy the little foam things and you roll them up and you throw them in your ears and then you shoot like guns <laughs> or like go to the race track or something. No, these block out decibel level, but they do not block out uh, the higher frequencies, which is so common with the typical, uh, you know, foam earplugs that I was describing. So what's great is like, I know I was noticing it today when I was playing, you know, the symbols are crystal clear, but not loud. So you're, you're still getting that nice, crispy, high end, same with the snare. And even I should say with the kick, if you, um, if your kick is set up to have a little bit of a slap sound when it hits, um, that's something that I, I like to have on some of my kick drums and it's the one that I'm using here is set up like that. It's got a single ply head, and a felt beater, and there's a, a little bit of a kind of like that sound. So um, even that was coming through in the earplugs, um, you know, and, and then just obviously just the sound of the drums as well sounded, you, you can hear the high end. If I hit the rim, you can hear the you know, the doink of the rim with the head. Um, unlike most other style, you know, general style earplugs. So I just want to point these out. These are really great. They're super comfortable. I can wear them for, you know, an hour or more uh, if need be. And I'm not like, you know, dying to get them out of my ears. Um, and it's just a great cheap option um, to protect your hearing, number one, which we all need to do, especially as drummers, but all of us musicians need to do that. And um, as well as, you know, they come in this little canister, they're super easy, you know, I just throw it in my backpack, and which, is, which goes with me wherever I go, basically. And I always have them. That way I have them at a show, if I'm going to see a show, which I don't, it's been so long, I don't remember going to see shows. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure there was a time when I used to go see shows. And maybe there was a time when you did too. <laughs> maybe there will be a time when we can all go back to seeing shows again. Um, in, in which case, you'll want to have these. They're, they're excellent. So, Eargasm earplugs. Check them out. Go to Amazon or, you know, look them up online if you want to. If you don't want to buy from the big the big monster and um check these out they're 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 quite good and i i recommend them so protect your ears and um you know yeah it's important you know don't don't mess around with with your ears and your hearing because as i said it's permanent damage you, you there's no way to get it back so if you're ringing at night or if you have any kind of like tinnitus issues, um, you know, that's a huge red flag. So, all right, guys, take care of yourself and I will see you on the next video.